After the Legends with Bailu and Shukai ended earlier this year, it left me wanting something just a little more. That drama started off with almost everything that made a fantasy drama great. An interesting backstory, compelling characters, and good looking cinematography. And although the ending could have been a little better, I knew one thing was for sure when I finished the drama, I needed more Shansha from the two main leads. Bailu does have an historical drama in the works in the form of Jiu Liu Overlord, but it doesn't quite fit the bill if you were looking for a straight fantasy drama. Thank goodness it's Shu Kai to the rescue. Once Upon a Time There Was a Spirit Blade Mountain is an upcoming fantasy martial arts drama that was announced a while ago but has been mostly silent so far with the exception of a few photographic stills released a few months back. This drama was based on a novel published back in 2013 and has since spawned a manga as well as an anime adaptation. There are light spoilers ahead from the novel so please turn off the video now if you don't want to know. Before I go on, if you are new to this channel, my name is Anton, this is Asian Drama News, and please remember to subscribe to the channel if you like Asian dramas and want to hear the latest. Anyways, this story is set in a fantasy world made up of 9 major states and 5 main sects. Shukai plays as the main lead Wang Lu, who is cool, calm, intelligent, and extremely adventurous. He is the reincarnation of a powerful old master of the Spirit Blade sect, and in this storyline begins his spiritual training to become an immortal. His master is played by Sandrine Pina, who is the fifth and current elder of the Spirit Blade sect, who is now hundreds of years old. Yes, we have some Return of the Connor Heroes master-student relationship going on here, but to be fair, she did know him in a previous life. It won't be clear though when she will actually discover this fact until the drama finally airs, but this drama will center around their interactions as they prepare to face a great disaster looming in their world. Ryan Chu is also casted in this drama and is the son of the Emperor of the Grand Cloud Empire. He meets our main male lead and eventually they become friends. You may remember him from 2017's Die Now, which was also directed by the same director as Spirit Blade Mountain. As far as I can tell, this director has never made an ancient fantasy drama before, so that does make me a bit uneasy. It's still a little early in the production, but if I were to compare this show to The Legends, I would say that the costumes look just a little less polished than in The Legends particularly Shukai's. He just looks a little bit better as the demon Li Qinlan. But hey, I won't judge the production until it actually comes out. This is just based on the few stills that have been released. Also, I know that the main female lead is supposed to be older than the male lead, but Sandrine Pina is a full 8 years older than Chu Kai, and I'm just not sure on her look. I mean, they almost never cast an older Shaolong Nu in The Return of Connor Heroes, even though she's supposed to be. I just really hope they can make Spirit Blade Mountain work, because I am anxious for another Chu Kai drama. What do you guys think? Would you give Spirit Blade Mountain a shot once it comes out? Hopefully it will be able to outdo the legends because so far it does check off a lot of the things that I'm looking for in a fantasy drama. Story looks good, photos look good, and the premise sounds interesting. I'd try it out. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to hit that like button if you think Spirit Blade Mountain is also something that you would want to watch for when it comes out. As always, my name is Anton. Please subscribe to the channel for more drama news updates like this in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now!